Hey guys, Erica and Angie with Gateway to Air Guns. I have kind of a quick, fun video. At least it's fun for me. <laughs> I have the Dan Wesson 2.5 and the Dan Wesson 6-inch revolvers right here. And I've already done a grip review on the 2.5-inch one. And I got some comments about accuracy with the longer barrel. So guys, I listened and I got the 6-inch one. And today this video is strictly about the difference in accuracy with the 2.5 and the 6-inch. So... We're going to see which one is more accurate. I know, guys, it's like predictable, right? But we're going to find out for sure and show you guys the difference. So let's get started. Really quick, I want to say thank you to Gateway to Air Guns for making this video possible. Go check them out, guys, www.gatewaytoairguns.org. www.gatewaytoairguns.org. I want to take a quick moment to thank Pyramid Air for sending me both of these pistols so that I can check them out so I can answer some questions. If you guys want to find out more about these guns or some of their other products, go to www.pyramidair.com. First, I'm going to shoot the 2.5 inch, and yes, there is a grip review up on it, so go to the Gateway to Air Guns YouTube channel, and you'll find it there, and it will tell you all the specs and details about the Dan Wesson 2.5. I do plan on doing a grip review on the 6 inch one, so look out for that one. This one's just a little bit of a teaser, so let's go ahead and check out the accuracy. I have some of the favorite pellets of the 2.5 inch one from the grip review out here already. All right, so I've got the two and a half inch Dan Wesson revolver and I'm getting ready to test the accuracy we're at about five yards um, and then we'll check out the six inch barrel and then I'll move the um, target back and see this one if you guys remember in my grip review this one was not very good at a fur further distance but we'll find out if the longer barrel is all we need. So I've got a new um, cartridge of CO2 in here and I just loaded some H&M Barracuda matches. Let's go ahead and get our first group. I'm going to go with the top left Let me put one more in here um, so we can get the six inch group on that one. And then I am going to do one more on the right. So not a bad, we had a couple of flyers. Um, discount the one at the very top, but not bad at all. Um, that's four pellets in that one little group and then we had a couple of flyers. Right. I'm gonna do one more group with the um, with this two and a half inch and then I'll get the six inch one and I'll do two groups with it, change out the target and move it back to 10 yards. Let's see how they perform against each other. Shoot the wrong target. Let me go ahead. I'm going to do both the top and bottom, and the left side will be this one. Not bad at all. I believe that's it. 
Yep, okay. So let's set that one aside. Go ahead and get this one. I have loaded CO2 in this one. And I'm going to go ahead and load the pellets. Let's go ahead and look here. You guys can see I'm using the HMO Barracuda matches. They are natural green. 10.65 grains. So they're a little heavy. I did not realize that. It. So pretty much the same results as the other one. Had a couple flyers. A few of them grouped all right. But let me go ahead and do a second group and find out. And it actually, off camera shooting, it shot better than that. So maybe I'm just a little shy on camera. So let's give it a second chance at this distance. That was pretty good. So, first group for both of them, about the same. Had a couple flyers and a decent sort of group. The second one, the longer bear, was actually worse than the first one. But that last group, I would say the longer bear was better than the shorter bear. So, I'm going to change out the targets, guys, and I'm going to move it back 10 yards, and we'll see which one does better at 10 yards. Hopefully this one, because that would make more sense, right? So let's see what happens. So I shot my normal grip targets, the same ones I shot at 5 yards, at 10 yards, and I'm not sure if it's me or if it's the gun, because the um, aim points on those paper targets are rather small. So I got some shoot-and-see targets and stuck them up. I'm going to see if they um, help me in any way to aim, have a better aim point than the paper targets did. Um, but these are the results on the paper targets. They weren't that great, so I'm going to give the guns both a second chance at 10 yards with maybe some better aim points. So, here we go. Okay, so the left target will be the 2.5 inch. And of course, the other one will be... Let me see if I can do better with this thing. I'm not even, I would normally do another one because I changed my aim point, but those didn't shoot great at all. So I'm just going to go ahead and switch over to the longer barrel. Load it up and let's see how this one does with a better aim point, hopefully. No.
Well, guys, there is my conclusion. It looks like neither one of them are long distance guns, but they shoot great at a shorter distance. Well, guys, those are the results. Both of them shot similarly great at five yards. And then when I moved it back to 10, both of them shot similarly not great. I mean, not horribly, but not great. So as is not 10 yard guns, but this one I will be doing a grip review on and it's scopable. So slap a red dot sight on there or a laser light and we'll see if maybe that changes things. I would like to take a moment to say thank you to Gateway to Air Guns. Thank you all so much for making these videos possible. If you guys have not checked them out, you really, really should. If you're an air gunner, you like air guns, you like shooting, go check out www.gatewaytoairguns.org. There is something for every air gunner alive. I promise. That's it for today, guys. I'm Air Gun Angie with Gateway to Air Guns. Thank you all so much for watching. Y'all don't just have a good day. Have an awesome one. See ya. perfect tool for that. <laughs> Just use it well. <laughs> Better than me.